right, so today we are doing inverse of trigonometric functions. So our essential question is, how do I evaluate inverse trig functions? So you have evaluated trigonometric functions for a given angle. So you knew the angle, you're finding a side length. Right. You can also find the measure of angles, and that's what we're doing today, given the value of a trigonometric function. And you do that by using inverse trigonometric relation. Which you did in geometry. Right. So if you look here, sine, the inverse of sine would be sine negative, negative 1. Negative right. One. Doesn't mean the reciprocal. No. It's the inverse. Yep. Cosine would be cosine negative 1, tangent, tangent negative 1. And okay. we will be showing you in class how to use your calculator mm -hmm. to find these. So here it says the expression sine negative 1 is read as the inverse sine. It is not the reciprocal. So right. please, maybe highlight that, Miss Boyd. Right. Not the reciprocal. Okay? Great. This is a really pretty quick lesson. Mm -hmm. We have two examples. Example number one. A group of hikers wants to walk, oh, from a lake, sorry, uh -huh. okay. from a lake to an unusual rock formation. The formation is one mile east and .75 miles north of the lake. To the nearest degree, in what direction should the hikers head from the lake to reach the rock formation? Great. So we are trying to find, it says to the nearest degree, mm -hmm. we are trying to find theta. So the, we have, hey, look at me angle. Right. So we have to decide, are we going to use so, ka, or toa? All right. Sine, cosine, right or tangent. So, ka, toa. So maybe so we should our label hey, our me. sides. Yep. Here's our hey, look at me. So across from it's our opposite. Mm -hmm. Here is a 90, so that has to be our hypotenuse across mm -hmm. from it. And so the last one's adjacent. Right. We look at which ones have something on the sides. Mm -hmm. This one has something. This one has something. This one doesn't have anything. So we're going to use O and A. So O and A is right here. So tangent. We have to use tangent. Yep. So, we'll so we're going to write yep. tangent of tangent theta, of theta mm -hmm. is equal to our opposite. opposite. 0.75 over, over 1. Jason, which is 1. Right. Well, that's just 0.75. Yep. And now you're going to write, um, right. And now what we're going to solve for is we're going to change our notation here now. Mm -hmm. We're solving for theta. So right. Ms. Boyd's going to write theta is equal to, and then Ooh, tangent inverse. negative 1, and then you write 0.75. Times, I'm going to use parentheses. Sure. So that we are plugging into our calculator, yep. and we will show you in class. When you do that, you get theta is equal to 37 degrees. Mm -hmm. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. And then it asks what direction you're going to go in. Well, if you're starting here. Oh, yeah. And this is north, and this is east, you're going to go northeast. Right. So let's write that. Yeah. Good job, Ms. Boyd. Nice. All right. Let's do example number two. All right. A painter needs to lean a 30-foot ladder against a wall. All right. So here's my wall. Mm -hmm. Here's my ladder. Perfect. I'm sure all the rungs, so you know that's my ladder. Yep. All right. And let's go back because you said something important. It says needs to lean a 30-foot ladder. Right. So this is 30 feet. Mm -hmm. The ladder is 30. And okay. students make the mistake. Guess where they usually put the 30? At the wall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's not it. It's a 30-foot ladder. It's right. how long the ladder is. Great. So let's make our 90-degree triangle. And we'll keep reading. Okay. Safety guidelines recommend that the distance between the base of the ladder so here's the base. and the wall here should be one-fourth of the length of the ladder. Okay. Oh, So we well, can figure that out. Yeah. So one-fourth. times one-fourth. That's it. Right. Which is 7.5. So, so that's how far it needs to be away from the wall. Right. So, so that's that right distance. Here. Great. And now, so now let's keep going. To the nearest degree, what acute angle should the ladder make with the, the ground? Make with the ground. So the there's our look the at me angle. Here's our hey, look at me. Yep. So now, Perfect. should we label, label our, our sides? Side. So cross from hey, look at me is opposite. Mm -hmm. Cross from 90s hypotenuse. Mm -hmm. And adjacent. Which one has the two numbers? These the, ones. The should so we write so katoa out sure. again? So katoa. So we, we know an a H and an A. H. Or an A and an A. Yeah. So we have to use cosine. So, so cosine, cosine of theta, theta is equal to adjacent, adjacent, which is seven point five. 
over hypotenuse. hypotenuse. 30. Done. And Again, when you do just that. Just type that all in your calculator. Right. And 7.5 divided by 30. Do you want me to tell you what it is? No. Okay, she doesn't. type it all in. She, she doesn't so, want me to tell it. Cosine inverse of 7.5 over 30. Oh, I see. Is okay. One. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 76 degrees. 76. Great. You know, that's, can you fix that? Oh, she's so particular sometimes. Go then. Ah. Oh, boy. There, we'll just do this. Uh, that's better. Okay. Okay. Thanks. That's the end of the lesson. So Great. let's go to the video questions. Nice and quick. So video question one. I would Please draw read picture. that. Definitely draw a picture. Mm -hmm. And video question two is pretty Ooh, easy. What is your favorite food? food? See you tomorrow. That's it. Bye bye.